All right, so here we are. Uh, I didn't get a chance to buy stuff last time. Actually, let's wait till I finish the level so I can get more rings. Uh, there are two sun medals we need to get though. Good thing is this place is really small, so it won't be that hard to get them. Yeah, you see there's one. Uh, and then this, uh, the the village music for this. Oh man, if you thought the day one was, sounds like Christmas, this one's even more like Christmas. I'm telling you, I actually listen to this song when it's December and I'm like getting cozy in my bed. Gets me in like the Christmas mood. I mean, this, this song just gives me Christmas vibes. Now where is the other... Um, Where is the other uh, metal? Oh, well, that's fine. I'm not complaining. Oh, it's like literally right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm not complaining. I like chilling to this music. But look at the amp. I love the ambience of this place and just look at just imagine living here I mean yeah you had to deal with the harsh colds but imagine looking at the sky like this every night and then you just see mountains of ice nothing but white black and white you got black skies white um, terrain so beautiful all right, well, let's go into the hub. All right, so unfortunately we can't can't run on water as the warthog, so we gotta go around the long way. Oh, 60. Oh, man. I just love when the game runs at 60. Yeah, the moments are kind of like few and far between, but when I when the game does run at that, it's just so nice. Like I said, it, it's such a shame that this game you could really only get like the game to perform like this if you have a Series X, but that's the thing, like. You have to have a Series X. You have to have, have you have to have the 360 version of this game. And if you don't, if you never owned it, it might be a little hard to to get this game because yeah, this game unfortunately Sega like a few years after this game released, it was like around 2010. Sega decided to basically delist a lot of. Um, a lot of Sonic games around that time that weren't really all that popular to essentially bring up the value, the monetary value of Sonic. Because you know, when you got a lot of bad games or bad products, it brings down the value of whatever it is that that thing is. And yeah, because you know, around this time, Sonic had a lot of bad games. Sega decided to just. Um, they decided to stop, they delisted or discontinued the selling of a lot of the selling of the Sonic games that came out around this time that weren't really all that well received and yeah Sonic as I mentioned Sonic Unleashed unfortunately unfortunately it wasn't well received all because it came out after Sonic 06 and you know at that time it was cool to hate on Sonic, you know, but I think it sucks because this game really is good, you know, sucks that this game 
Got a bad rap just because of Sonic 06. But, I don't know. I'm gonna keep hoping. Honestly, if I had the chance... If I had the chance to pick any game to be remastered... Like, I can only pick one game. Any game in the whole world. It would be this game. Hands down. There's no other game I would want remastered, remade, whatever. More than this game. Well, and to be fair, I would... I wouldn't even want this game to be remade. Just remastered or at least ported to Steam? I don't think that's too much to ask. Alright, here we are. This is Cool Edge Night and already... I love the music. This is, I think this is my favorite track. Well, one of. I think there's only like one other song in this game that I like more than this one. I already said it. I think I already said it before when I was playing 06, right? That. Oh, uh, uh, look at that. I think I said it when I was playing 06, but if I didn't, that this game has one of the best. I have one of the best um, soundtracks in a Sonic game. Now, it would be the best, but the thing is, Sonic 06, despite it being hot garbage, um, yeah, despite it being hot garbage, uh, the one thing that it does have is it's a good soundtrack and that's the thing Sonic 06 also has a really good soundtrack so for me uh, th those two the soundtracks for this game and Sonic 06 are base basically compete for the number one spot because yeah they're just really good like, I can't really think of oh uh, yeah they're just both really good I uh, yeah Anyways, yeah, so I love this level because well one the music the music goes hard It's another song that I listen to when it's like December Even though I know it doesn't really have It doesn't really have a Christmas vibe But still just something about it just oh man I messed up Yeah, something that, I don't know, something about it just, I like it. It just really goes good for December. It's funny, like, it's a song. It's a song that it was made for, like, a chilly, ice, cold level, yet the sound is just straight, it's just, like, straight heat. You know, <laughs> is this str it's like it's man. I know I'm gonna sound so old for this, but it's like fire here, <laughs> man. I remember, ah, oh man. I remember when everyone used to say that back when I was in high school. I was like, uh, that was a while ago. When people used to say that shit was just fire. I know pe instead now people say, oh, it's like heat, but eh, whatever. I'm old. Or I'm getting old at least. I'm not as young as I used to be. But yeah, I love this level, but I am just a sucker for snow. For snow aesthetics. And why? I, I don't know. Probably because I've always lived in California my whole life. Uh, where, you know, or okay, I should say I've always lived in Southern California my whole life, or. We don't, it doesn't really, it rarely snows. So I guess maybe that's why I love snow a lot, just because the concept of snow is so foreign to me. I've only ever, like, touched real snow once in my life. And that was when, uh, that was like on a family vacation. Uh, we were driving all the way to, we were driving uh, to 
San Francisco and along the way we went to Ramona where it does snow. And then what else? I mean the level design... I love the level design of this place, it's just really good. And just look at this, like I said, I already commented on the night sky. But if you're playing the Cool Edge, you actually get the, the Aurora Borealis, which you don't see in the village. And I love, I love Aurora Borealis. Is that the plural? I don't know. Okay, so we gotta hurry up and... Yeah, cause I think... Aw oh, man! Damn it! The stupid loading. The enemy spawn screwed me up. And what sucks is like, I'm pretty sure there's a metal up there. But now because of stupid enemies screwed me over. Oh man, I almost missed that one. I also like the wind, the wind ambience. Might be a little hard to hear because of the music. But... If you do listen closely, or if you play this game without music, you can hear like wind ambience. So we gotta grab this guy and melt this. Alright, yeah, you outlived your usefulness. You know what sucks more? I'm pretty sure up there's a moon metal. Which is, like I said, that, that moon metals are the ones I need more of. Another reason why I like this level is because at least since I started playing this on RPCS3, I've noticed that this is a this is one of the few levels that runs really well. Like if you if you if you guys have been noticing, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but this this level there's been I've been able to play this level in 60 FPS much longer than the other levels. So, you know, but, you know, I think that's just coincidence that <laughs> it's just pure luck and coincidence that my favorite, one of my favorite night stages just happens to be one of the levels where the game actually runs well on. I gotta say, you know, like I said, I... I listened to this music for this for Alaska around December because it kind of gives me into Christmas vibes and this level and all that is part of the reason why I really wanted to play this game around Christmas time I was trying really hard to make it happen like this past December but uh, I mean Unfortunately, it, it just didn't happen. A lot was going on, and you know, where was where was I in December? I think. Ah oh man, I pressed the wrong button. I think, I think in December, I was still doing Sonic in the Secret Rings. So, and then that was when I was still like uploading Subnautica. By then, like by December, I was actually done with Subnautica, but. I was just uploading the videos at that point. But you know what, now that I think about it, what it really was... 
Um, really what it was at that time was work. Cause I had, yeah around December I had just, or I should say the beginning of November of last year, I had just started a new job. And it's a full time job and I was still going to school so I was pretty busy and whatnot and yeah it, it was just a lot of stuff like that going on didn't really have a lot of time and I was even thinking cuz I was like well I could play this game in December but even if I do that I'm not gonna be able to get these videos out so soon like probably the earliest would be January and I was like well you know what it's still kind of winter I mean or it's still winter at that time but let's be real like once once January hits the whole Christmas vibe like yeah the whole holiday season vibe is essentially over cuz I don't know how you guys are but for me the holidays really start after Thanksgiving okay and I'm just gonna stress it right here if you're one of those weirdos who starts celebrating like Christmas and whatnot before Thanksgiving I don't even know what to say like I love Christmas as much as the next person hell I think like I annoy my family with how much I love Christmas but um, even I think no if you're celebrating if you're already putting up Christmas lights and Christmas trees before Thanksgiving like just stop please um, yeah, just please stop. Even... There's even people who like... No, nah, see, and what bothers me about that is that... There's still Thanksgiving, right? Thanksgiving is still a major holiday. And I just think like, at this point... Thanksgiving just gets so overshadowed. Even... Even Black Friday, which, you know... Back then... It was called Black Friday because... Yeah, it was called Black Friday because Friday was the day where the deals happened. But at this point, like, I see so many commercials about stores saying like, Oh yeah, we're starting Black Friday deals as early as like Wednesday or Thursday and or Tuesday. I think some even go as far as like the weekend before and it's like, whoa. You realize it's called Black Friday, not Black Week. And you know, I, it's... It's crazy because when I was a kid, like I, when I was a kid, it was still Black Friday was still exclusive to Black Friday, you know. It, I mean, yeah, it always started at midnight because I remember a couple nights um, going like Black Friday shopping with my parents and whatnot. Uh, like on Friday, like waking up early Friday morning just to hit the stores and hit the deals and whatnot. But then, once I kind of started getting into my teenage years, yeah, you know, some stores were like, oh, yeah, Black Friday deals start as early as, like, Thursday night, which, you know what, that that's fine, because, yeah, you, you know, it, it's like after the dinner, after everyone has the Thanksgiving family dinner or whatever, it's like, okay, well, now let's go, let's go, and do, let's, let's go enjoy some Black Friday shopping. Alright, yeah, fair enough. But then as the years went on, they started having it like earlier in the day, like starting pretty much on Thursday, which meant some people were like, you know, some people were basically just either having their dinners earlier, or I think some people probably stopped having the dinners altogether. And then, yeah, but then after that, it's like, alright, then Wednesday, you know, Black Friday deals start as early as Wednesday, and it's like, okay. And then, I think, like, the past few years, I've seen some of them go as early as Tuesday. Maybe even Monday. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, at that point, I'm like, it sucks, because even, like... Thanksgiving already is already getting overshadowed by Christmas because you know all these people think yeah Christmas time but now you got Black Friday encroaching and at this point it's like alright I don't even know why Thanksgiving is a holiday at this point 
<laughs> it just seems like you're either thinking about Christmas or you're Black Friday shopping. One or the other. And yeah, ironically, you Black Friday shop most likely to get Christmas presents. I know that's what I do sometimes. But you know what's worse? Like, okay, it's one thing to, I don't know, maybe start setting up Christmas decorations. Like, halfway through December or halfway through November or whatever. But then there's those who just like, the second, like who, they just wait. The second that October is over and the Halloween comes to an end, like on the November 1st, they already got the Christmas decorations on. And it's like, yo, chill. We just finished one major holiday. Why are you already getting ready for the next? Which... I mean, it'd be one thing if it's like, alright, you know what, thanks for preparing for Thanksgiving, which I know, like, how do you prepare for Thanksgiving? Like, I'd say maybe just get, like, a lot of festive decor- uh, like, fall decorations around to kind of give your house some more, like, fall look? Or autumn look? No way. Alright. Whatever. Alright guys, here we are back where I last left off for the game crash. Anyway, that, what was I doing? I was going on a bit of a rant about the holidays, right? Funny, I'm talking about the holidays even though it's like the middle of spring about to be summer. Christmas in July as they always say, you know? But, yeah, I don't know. If you're, if you're already like... If you're one of those people who's already having Christmas decorations like November 1st at 12, 12 o'clock AM, you really need to chill. Like, calm down. Take some break. We Take a break. We just enjoyed one holiday, you know. And yeah, like I said, I guess, I guess for, uh, Decorations for Thanksgiving, probably just kind of, like I said, decorate your place with things that give it a fall, like, a fall look, autumn look, things like that. Now check this out, you can actually use this guy to burn the Dark Gaia spawn, and it actually takes care of them pretty good. Oh, I missed that one, but whatever. Now, I think, now I don't know if this is true, but I'm pretty sure there's people like this. That there's some people who even start putting up Christmas decorations like even before Halloween and I don't know. At that point, you need to go see, <laughs> need to go see a specialist or something because how the hell are you going to put Christmas, how the hell are you going to put decorations for a holiday? Yeah, how are you gonna get decorations up for a holiday that is still has that's like that still isn't coming for like another three to four months? That's just crazy. I don't know that. I don't know, man. But yeah, I just uh, that's just what I think. You know, you may I know there's gonna be a lot of you guys who may disagree with me, say I'm a hater or whatever. I mean, look, at the end of the day, you're free to do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. I'm just giving my opinion, and you know, you could agree with my opinion, you could say my opinion is stupid, that's the beauty of opinions, you don't have to agree with them. But I just think the adequate time to start thinking about Christmas and getting all like the decorations and whatnot is after Thanksgiving. I mean, any point after Thanksgiving, even if you want to go, you know what, hell, even like the day of Thanksgiving, let's, cause you know, let's say mom or whoever is preparing the dinner, right? Maybe the rest of the family could spend like, while whoever is preparing the dinner, maybe like the rest of the family can focus on Christmas decorations or you know let's say you don't do Black Friday shopping maybe that could be like your tradition after the dinner 
you, you stay up late with your family and you put up Christmas decorations. No! 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh my god. I like this ice cave by the way. It's so pretty. Oh my god. I hate I hate it when the game does that sometimes. So if sometimes if you're not careful when you jump, like if you try to jump right it's, that sucks. I was doing so good in this level. Now I'm going to get a really bad ranking. Cause I'm like very close to the end and my score is zero. Uh, but yeah, this is the thing about that sucks about the Warhawk sometimes is if you jump when you're basically like in the air. So basically, like once you step off the, once you already got like a foot off the platform, if you jump, the game registers that as a double jump, which. Yeah, it's weird because you would think the game would just be like, oh, okay. For when, if a game that has double jumping, the way it will work is when the second you press the jump button once, it will register a jump. The second you press the, uh, yeah, and then once you press the second or the jump button twice, then the game will register that as your second jump. But no, in this game, basically. The second you're not touching, yeah, the second your foot is not on any kind of solid ground, if you press the jump button, it will register, for some reason, it will register that jump input as your, as the second jump, uh, yeah, as the double jump, which really screws you over because, yeah, as you just saw with the first time I died, I fell. And it was only because the game, I jumped, but the game registered it as a, as a double jump. If it, if it wouldn't, if the game weren't like that, then for sure I wouldn't have died there. But also you need to be careful when like you're doing platforming with the Warhog, where you have to be pretty precise about when you jump. Because if you're not, you could get screwed over like that. But anyways, back back to Christmas. <laughs> uh, yeah, this. Uh, yeah, that, like that's what I think. Anytime after Thanksgiving or even like the day of, uh, I think that's the perfect time to set up Christmas decoration anytime before that nah that's just I'm sorry but you're kind of weird I just think that's a little weird now now what about a like holiday cleanup you know uh well I will say my family when I was younger sometimes they wouldn't put away the decorations as late as like they wouldn't they do it pretty late in January sometimes. I don't think they they would ever do like. I don't think they would ever let it get as far as like February. But uh, yeah, normally January. You know, with cleanup, I think that's more like of a preference thing. I know. Look, I know no one cleans up day of Thanksgiving or. Christmas Day. In fact, I would say if you pack up all your Christmas decorations Christmas Day, you're probably a little weird. Or even the day after. Because I think it's just kind of like an unspoken rule that the week between Christmas to New Year's, you just keep the decorations up. And if you want to, if you really want to, um, yeah. If you, uh, and when you want to put away the decorations, you basically just wait after New Year's. But, how, how, mu or how much later after New Year's? Well, I think that's, like I said, that's just a preference to everyone else. But yeah, I think, like, if it's already, if it's, like, March and you still got, if it's late February, 
to early March and you still got Christmas decorations up. Yeah, either you're either you're very lazy or you're really weird. Cause I don't know, by then like you got holidays like Valentine's Day and then April Fools and whatnot. I know, like as if as if April Fools has like celebration like has you know decoration for it, you know? But yeah, point is this game for some reason this game gives me in the Christmas spirit and it's just because of this level. And I know there's other so like snowy Sonic levels, but it's just something about Halaska, the way it's designed, the way it looks that just really invokes the Christmas feel to me. Snow levels, music, ambience, the way everything looks, the fact that this is the only game, the one of the only levels that runs well. All reasons why I love this level. But uh, we've come to an end. Wow, I actually got an A rank despite like dying so late into the level. And. You know, that's why, like, when the game crashed, I didn't really mind playing this level again. I can replay this level so many times. Alright, let's level up the life. Unleashed. And then shield. And then let's level up combat. Damn, I need 39 sun medals for level 7. That's a lot of sun medals. Alright, and with that, we can now head to the boss. So, let's go ahead and do that.
about battle against the Dark Moray. So we gotta take these little like things out. Because there's a shield around this thing and we can't get to it until these things are like Yeah, until these things are like defeated. I bet that big lug's weak spot is that green glowing thing. Alright. We wanna break this so we can freeze this thing and then basically just try to attack the green spot like Chip said. I just realized though, the reason why I keep taking damage is because I'm supposed to freeze these things first. Forgot about that. Wow. I think that's the last one. Yep. Alright, there. When it, now that's lowered, maybe it'll be easier to hit the weak spots. There we go. Yeah, you have to hit it right in the green spots. Or else it deals no damage. Let's level up our combat. Typhoon combo. Alright, let's level up strength. Peace.